Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow Denarian friends to help support our channel. Believe me it makes a huge difference and is greatly greatly appreciated. Please check out our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Denar community. Use the promo code. The Denarian and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded mobile application free for my subscribers. A tour of both the mobile application and the desktop planner are available on the website. I also recommend you registering as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program made for the financially challenged as I like to call it. It makes saving gold easy and affordable for everyone. Now is the time to get involved if you have not already done so. The links are in the description below for both of these must-have programs for the exchange. First article of interest for today. Source. Postponement of the file for choosing the next Iraqi Prime Minister. A political source familiar with the matter said on Tuesday that the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, had postponed the file of the new Prime Minister's nomination. The source said to Alec Beria that the file for choosing the next Iraqi prime minister has been postponed after its settlement was approached on Monday evening. He added that President of the Republic Baram Sali traveled to the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland to participate in it. And Sali has called today, Tuesday, the leaders of political blocs for an urgent meeting in his office before traveling to Switzerland. Next article of interest, Iraq is rising and the president in Davos. Analyst, Saleh failed to prioritize. Amid a new wave of demonstrations sweeping the country, the Iraqis were surprised on Tuesday by the travel of President Barim Saleh to Switzerland to attend the Davos conference. The news of Saleh's travel to Davos angered Iraqi tweets on Twitter as some of them considered a flaw in assessing the priorities of the stage for the President of the Republic. U.S. President Donald Trump is scheduled to meet Iraqi President Barim Sali and the President of the Kurdistan region, Negervan Barzani, in two separate meetings. On the other hand, observers were divided over the priority of the visit at the present time, as the travel of the President of the Republic comes at a stormy time the country is going through while others said that this falls within his presidential tasks. Iraq is witnessing a new wave of demonstrations after the deadline granted by the demonstrators to the government to choose a new prime minister and the trial of those who caused the demonstrators' martyrdom has ended, but none of them has been implemented. Political analyst Rod Hush M. said, The invitation to attend the Davos conference was received by the Iraqi president long before and before all these events occurred and they were answered with approval at the time. Hashem believes that, far from the invitation, Baram Saleh would have failed in the task of choosing a new prime minister for Iraq, because he could not find a consensus between the parties on the one hand and the Shiite authorities on the other hand, Why each side refuses to concede. For his part, says political analyst Rod al Kabi, that there is a problem in coordination between the authorities in the state. In terms of knowing the powers, they are acting from the logic of leadership. al Kabi explained that the Prime Minister was supposed to attend the Davos Forum because he is the one who has broad powers according to the Constitution compared to the President of the Republic. The Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi submitted his resignation in November last year, but he is still exercising his duties within the caretaker government until the election of a new Prime Minister. Iraqi political analyst Hussein Alawi believes that despite Saleh discussing important files during the Davos conference, this will cause a state of tension in the Iraqi street in light of these difficult circumstances. While attending the Davos conference, Saleh will focus on three main issues, which are the level of us Iraqi relations, Iraq's membership in the international coalition against ISIS, and the promotion of investment and development opportunities in Iraq. Alawi said. Alawi added that Saleh's travel comes in light of mass demands to choose the prime minister, who rejected all the names proposed by the political forces.
it is likely that Saleh will not discuss the issue of choosing the expected Iraqi prime minister with the American president, but will come at the forefront of the issues to be discussed, the U.S. military presence in Iraq and ways to combat terrorism, and the path of us Iraqi relations in the economic and political fields. Next article of interest, Iraq examining Russian, Ukrainian, Chinese SAM systems. Iraq will send military delegations to Russia, Ukraine, and China to discuss the potential purchase of air defense weapons, an Iraqi lawmaker has said. On January 20, 2020, Badr al-Ziadi, who is a member of the Iraqi parliament's Defense and Security Committee, told al Saban newspaper, that delegations intend to visit such countries as Russia, China and Ukraine to negotiate the purchase of modern systems to protect Iraq's airspace. The Iraqi parliament is right now forming a joint executive and legislative delegation to visit the developed countries and sign contracts on procuring advanced weapons. al Ziadi suggested that such military hardware could be paid for as part of a trade for Iraqi oil, citing an oil for reconstruction agreement with China. The lawmaker noted, Many nations indicated readiness to ship modern weapons to Iraq in exchange for oil. This is the best way to ensure the shipment of good weapons to Iraq without corruption and bribery. He did not specify which systems Iraq would be interested in purchasing. Baghdad has been said to be interested in Russia's S-400 Surface II air missile system or the older S-300. The S-300 Bs is no longer in production in Russia, meaning any of these would need to be bought secondhand, while the S-300 VM is still being produced. Ukraine has a range of ex-Soviet missile systems in service and has worked to bring systems back into operation from storage. Presumably any Iraqi purchase of Ukrainian equipment would be secondhand. China is ramping up production of a number of different air defense weapons. Its S-300 equivalent, the HIC-9, has previously been said to be a system Iraq was interested in. The lawmaker criticized the U.S., which has been a source of arms for Iraq since the 2003 ouster of Saddam Hussein, saying, the inadequate harming of border forces with modern weapons was the result of a mistake in relying on an agreement with the United States, which spent enormous sums of money and never fully finished the rearmament effort. This is why the Iraqis must count on themselves and turn to the Eastern Bloc to equip its army, al Ziadi added. The U.S. has warned Iraq against purchasing the S-400. Under the Kotsa law, the U.S. has sanctioned much of Russia's defense industry, including S-400 manufacturer Almaz NT, and has threatened to sanction states that import the system and other Russian hardware. However, Washington has not yet imposed sanctions on NATO ally Turkey, which imported the S-400 last year. Next article of interest. Countries come together in hope of creating cryptocurrency backed by central banks. The Bank of England has created an international group to explore the possibility of developing a cryptocurrency backed by central banks. The central banks of Japan, Sweden, Switzerland and the Eurozone joined the initiative together with the Bank of International Settlements, BIS. The group will look at the economic and technical benefits that a Bitcoin-style digital currency could offer. Global focus on central bank digital currencies, CBDC, intensified last year after Facebook announced plans to introduce a cryptocurrency called Libra. The European Central Bank subsequently expressed an interest in creating its own digital currency, while China has also moved forward with plans to launch a state-backed cryptocurrency. The group will assess CBDC use cases, economic, functional and technical design choices, including cross-border interoperability, and the sharing of knowledge on emerging technologies, the bank said in a joint statement on Tuesday. When the first national central bank issues a CBDC, this will be a major milestone in monetary history and a turning point for the global financial system, Andy Bryant, co-head of popular cryptocurrency exchange Bitfleer, told The Independent. However, at this stage, there is still a lot up for discussion. The particular design of each new CBDC, for instance, 
whether or not it bears interest, will have profound implications on its effectiveness as a monetary policy instrument. They understand a shift to digital currencies won't happen overnight. However, it is a part of a generational change being driven by people who have grown up with technology and see the world in a different way, he said. Over thousands of years, money has always evolved and most central banks would agree that the current international monetary system is now out of date. Please hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog and find me on Facebook. Please take a moment and visit our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout along with the mobile application added on at no extra charge. Also, get registered as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program today. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you may lose everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold. I know what you're thinking, gold is too expensive right? This program is made so low-income people can afford to buy gold in small increments, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always transfer gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need, the gold will always be in your possession. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar will not. Ask yourself this, why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately and running from the current fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links are available in the description box below this video, knowledge is power, over and out for now, the Denarian.